It was right under my nose. Well, by the time I get done reading this little passage, and by the time I get done adding my own to it, it would have taken more than five or six minutes, so it would have gone over to 15 anyway, so. The American people have considered the handgun to be the quintessential self-defense weapon. There are many reasons that a citizen may prefer a handgun for home defense. It is easier to store in a location that is readily accessible in an emergency. It cannot easily be directed or wrestled away from an attacker. It is easier to use for those without upper body strength to lift and aim a long gun. It can be pointed at a burglar with one hand while the other hand dials the police. Whatever the reason, handguns are the most popular weapon chosen by Americans for self-defense in the home. And a complete prohibition of their use is invalid. We must also address the district's requirement, as applied to respondents' handgun, that firearms in the home be rendered and kept inoperable at all times. This makes it impossible for citizens to use them for core lawful purposes, per, for a core lawful purpose of self-defense, and is hence unconstitutional. In other words, I talk about this in one of my videos. And if you lived in D.C., you could not have a handgun, but you could have a long gun. The long gun had to be field stripped, trigger locked, and unloaded. Great safety feature, but when a guy's breaking, when a guy's breaking down your door at two o'clock in the morning with the look of fucking death in his eyes. It's not so great anymore. <clears throat> Justice Scalia, this is his opinion. It's like two whole pages here. It's a paragraph on this page, and then this whole page, and this whole page, minus one paragraph for Justice Stevens. Justice Stevens was against the, the ruling and was in favor of upholding the handgun ban, and I read his opinion. It didn't make any sense to me. It really didn't. It, it just literally didn't make sense. I couldn't understand what he was saying. I'm going to add to Justice Scalia's thing here. The long gun has a home defense gun. And I know a lot of guys that say go out and buy a shotgun. Here's the issue. In addition to the long gun being easier to wrestle away than the handgun, according to Justice Scalia. The long gun is not always useful practicality wise. There is my fire escape. This is my living room. This is my dining area. This is my front door and foyer area. This is a wide open space. I have a lot of space. You're not even seeing 20% of the space I have up here. If a guy was over there at the window when I had a rifle, I could aim it at him really good. If a guy was over here with the coming door, I could aim it at him really good. Other side of the apartment, I have a bedroom, which I'm looking at now master bedroom, I have a bathroom, I have a kitchen, I have my own personal bedroom. Okay, that side of the apartment has cabinets, beds, it's condensed. Now most experts will tell you, if a guy's broken into your house, get on the phone, dial 911, have a gun on standby and wait the six minutes. And if you absolutely have no choice but to go after the guy because the guy is in another bedroom harming another family member, then you gotta go after him. But if you have to leave your bedroom and advance with a rifle or a shotgun, that side of the apartment, it's gonna be pretty hard to work it around. Rifles are shorter or longer, but depending on how short or long it is, it's gonna be harder to move. Handgun is much easier to move. I can put it at my side. I can, if I have the holster on, I can put it in the holster. I can move it much more simply. <clears throat> Another thing that these walls here are solid concrete. I honestly don't think that I could put anything through this wall short of a 50 caliber rifle round. I honestly think that if I have a 30 6 bullet, which is the round that was used in the M1 Garand 1903 Springfield, and even the round that was used in two of John Bryan's machine guns. I honestly think if I fired a 30 6 round, it would not go through the wall. Obviously, I'm not going to test that theory because I have a neighbor over here and, you know, think. But I think these walls are very, very hard and would not be penetrated. 
but you may live in an area where you have a, an apartment or a townhouse that has thinner walls. They're not made out of concrete and stone. They're made out of... I'm also a certified carpenter, by the way. Never actually worked as one, but I'm also, I was certified in high school. Um, sheet rock and two by fours that are, or two by sixes that are on their edge. Okay? Now, you might have a long gun, say a rifle. And let's say it's an AR-15 5.56 rifle. Okay. Bad guy comes in. You see him make a move. You get scared. You shoot at him. If you have a thin wall, a 5.56 five, bullet might penetrate that wall. If you have a 7.62, NATO like the M14 bullet, or it's also used in the AR-10. Okay, the 7.62 by 51 NATO round. That will penetrate sheetrock and all, it will penetrate. And then you gotta worry about hurting your neighbor, hurting the guy in the next room, hurting your, your kids in the next room. So sometimes a long gun is obsolete for home defense because in the close quarter, you know, it's one thing if you're a U.S. Marine and you're in Iraq or Afghanistan and you're searching a fucking terrorist house, you don't give a shit if you kill the terrorist on the side of the wall. But if you have a bad guy on this side of the wall and a family member on the other side of the wall, you do give a shit who you kill. And that's what Justice Scalia forgot to mention. You know, let's respect him. In addition to that, another thing that I find that just that is relevant to me, my range will not allow you to shoot any magnum ammunition or any bullet that travels more than 1,900 feet per second. Because it's an indoor range and the wall is strong, but it's not that strong. And if you fire a bullet that goes too fast, it will ricochet. And the last fucking thing you want is a bullet to ricochet. So in my hometown, if I had a rifle and not a handgun, I would not be able to go to my local range. Unless it was one of those special carbine rifles that shoots like 9mm, 40, 45 ACP, like the Beretta Storm. Yeah, I could do that. But, and they, and they even said, they said my range, the indoor range in Yonkers. As long as the bullet travels less than 1,900 feet per second, I can use it in their range. But you might not be able to, depending on your range, your range of necessity, your range, your range of facility. The outdoor range in the town of Ardley, where I do my armed guard certification every year, is outdoor range, and you're shooting the bullets into a hill. So that hill is much stronger, and they are a little more lenient because the bullet isn't going to ricochet off the fucking hill. It's not. I don't give a fuck if you fire a nuclear weapon. It's not going to ricochet off the hill. Because the hill is made out of dirt and mud. Maybe there's a rock in the hill that might ricochet, but there aren't no rocks in the hill. I don't think so. <laughs> but also, so, and if I... Uh, if the RZ range will not allow me to shoot my rifle, and my local range will not allow me to shoot my rifle, I would have to go up upstate about 45 minutes to a town called Poughkeepsie that has those facilities necessary to shoot rifles. They have rifle range, they shoot magnums there. It's a big outdoor facility. It's about 45 minutes away. This range here is five minutes away. The range in RZ is 20 minutes away. I wouldn't get around to going up and shooting. On top of that, the expense. Let's face it, you can get a really nice shotgun for three hundred dollars. Nice one. But a cheap handgun, a cheap handgun costs three hundred dollars. That's a cheap handgun. An average handgun is six hundred dollars maybe. Mm. A cheap rifle now, ooh. A cheap rifle is nine hundred dollars. The average rifle is about twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. Ammunition. And munitions expensive as a motherfucker today. Now, figure this one out. Handgun ammunition is expensive. Try buying 556 five, or 762 NATO. So that's what Justice Scully left out of his opinion. So if you lived in DC, you would have had a. Yeah. So that is why the Second Amendment is still relevant. 
as long as there is crime in this country, as long as there is crime in this world, a citizen who is of sound mind and body, has no criminal record, and is not a threat to society, may still need an arm to defend himself. That is why the Second Amendment is not obsolete. If you don't believe me, Supreme Court, 2008, D.C. versus Heller, or Heller versus D.C., Supreme Court, 2010, and as I make this video, it was the last Supreme Court judgment to date. McDonald v. Chicago, overturning two handgun bans.